What are you most proud of, mate? Because you've had a very, very short but very, very busy life. Uh, you know what? I I sat back this year and I did a lot of I did a lot of reflections, and um, you often get caught in the day to day and always in that "what's next" mentality. Because in this business, a day feels like a week, a week feels like a month, a month is a year. And you had to sit back and this ain't easy, right? And I, as I said, I'm always willing to be transparent and we're trying to figure it out. We're staying committed. We're very passionate about what we want to achieve. But I think you sit back and you hang on. Yeah, okay, we don't have this ideal and we want to set up this structure, but we got we got 30 studios and we're about to, you know, transition internationally. Like, that's awesome. And you sit back and you just have to sometimes savor those moments. You know, I actually spoke about this the other day, bro. I don't know if you if you have a uh, reflection point similar, but I went into Gladiators and one day, because I was doing a lot of filming, like a bit of vlogging myself, I went in there about seven days in and I was like, oh, no, this feels normal. You know, it was like, you know how that happens? And it's like, oh, Ter- all of a sudden, like, Gladiators, yeah, Gladiators is nothing. So I walked in at about 6.30 a.m. and I walked into the arena by myself and I just forced, I, was, I sat there and I was just like, ah. Just had to soak it in and practice a bit of gratitude because it, it sucks how that happens. Things just normalize themselves. Because it's, it's the journey, mate. It's not the destination. You had to That's think it, about brother. what it took for you to become the phoenix.